Hi, you guys. I'm Ana Rivera here. I'm at the Queen's Lesbian and Gay Pride Committee. And we're in Astoria today. I'm with Rosie Mendez. Rosie Mendez, how are you doing, Rosie? I'm fine. How are you? Good, thank you. She's um, a city, New York City Council member for District 2, right? Correct. And she received an award today, a recognition from the committee. Tell us about that. Well, I'm very honored that uh, the Borough of Queens uh, acknowledged me, a uh, councilperson from Manhattan, for my work to the uh, gay, lesbian, uh, transgender, bisexual community. And, you know, while there's only two of us in the city council who are out, um, you know, that means that when there are issues throughout the city, we actually get involved in those LGBT issues in all the other boroughs. So what are you going to do with your award? Where is it going to go in your house? Do you have a spot for it already? Um, it's probably going to go in my office. Um, I don't know if I'm going to bring it to the district office or to city, my city hall office over at 250 Broadway. Okay, and can you um, tell us, for those people that might not know, what sort of things you've done for the community in New York City? Mm -hmm. uh, well, prior to becoming a city council person, I actually worked on the uh, gay civil rights bill as a college student uh, here in New York, uh, Intro 2, which got passed in 1986. And then I was the chief of staff to uh, an out lesbian, Margarita Lopez. And when I worked with her, uh, we worked very closely on passing the uh, transgender civil rights bill uh, in 2002. And while I've been in the city council, I've gotten involved in a variety of issues, uh, sometimes just uh, helping individuals, LGBT individuals who've gotten arrested. Uh, the Sylvia Rivera uh, Law Project had an event across the street from my district, like 20 feet right outside my district a year ago, and at the end of the evening, uh, the police came and arrested about uh, three or four individuals, and I got involved. We got the, dro the charges dropped. They spent the night in jail, unfortunately, but we were able to get the charges dropped. And... Um, been working hard to get the state to acknowledge uh, gay marriage and currently right now I'm working with a constituent of mine uh, who was arrested for uh, prostitution supposedly and he was visiting a, um, a gay male porn shop in our district on First Avenue and apparently he's not the only one so the police are going in there they're profiling and they're targeting gay men and uh, charging them with prostitution when they're soliciting them to have consensual sex so it's um, it's wrong and uh, and my constituent, Robert Pinter, has started to organize around this issue, and so we're all working together to stop the profiling of gay men and to have the records of these individuals expunged. Oh, wow. Now, tell us, uh, you're also working on this anti-violence coalition with the actress Rosario Dawson. Can you tell us about that? Yes. Um, Earlier, um, at the beginning of last year, a young woman uh, who worked in the key food was a uh, cashier. She was murdered by her boyfriend who also worked there. Uh, her sister happened to be a member of the Lower East Side Girls Club. And when this murder happened, everybody started to organize and they were all upset. And actually everyone in the community came together. Um, there's lots of forms of violence and they decided to create a coalition um, to address gang violence, domestic violence. Um, the first thing the coalition did was work with the family and they got a video on America's Most Wanted. As a result of that video, uh, the young woman's uh, uh, murderer was apprehended in Florida and arrested uh, for her murder. Uh, but the coalition has stayed together because there's lots of different violence in our community and they're continuing to work and it's um, even though it's Lower East Side Girls Club there's a lot of young men involved in this group and actually there's two young men that I know in the group who are actual victims of domestic violence themselves so it's a, a great project and Rosario who uh, used to live a couple of blocks from me, grew up in the neighborhood, has been uh, very involved with the Lower East Side Girls Club and has become involved in this particular issue.
Oh, wow. Thank you so much for that. You've done so much. Makes other people feel like they should be doing more, right? Well, uh, I think this is a better world if we all work together and all get involved. And I think that's one of the things that Barack Obama has been saying, you know, there's always opportunities to volunteer. And in our case, within our LGBT community, there's lots of opportunities for us to stand together because there's a lot of injustices. So we need to work together. So now, what do you recommend for the gay community, our people, to do to become more involved in politics and create more change for us in the community? What do you recommend? Well, when issues like this come up, you know, when young LGBT individuals are arrested, or in this case where they're profiling gay men, we all need to stand together as a community because uh, they start targeting either the young or the older or the men or the women, and that they start to pick us off. So we all need to band together as a community, work together, and then we can become stronger. You know, um, I said earlier, it's 40 years, this year is 40 years since Stonewall. We've made a lot of achievements in this city, but we still don't have a lot of rights. So we still have a lot of work to still do. Oh, wow. Okay. So now tell us what's in store for you now in 2009. What, what, what are you looking forward to? 2009, well, I have to run for re-election. And uh, so that happens this year. And I would like to see in the very near future uh, passing gay marriage here in New York while New York State acknowledges gay marriages from other jurisdictions we still can't get married here so uh, I think that is something that we need to achieve here in New York City one of the greatest cities not just in this nation but in this world okay now any message you want to send out to our young gay people coming up now, like the teenagers and all those people, on how to, you know, create a better community? You need to get involved, you know, we benefited, myself included and them, because other individuals, other uh, gay, lesbian uh, men and women stood up uh, for our rights many years ago. Uh, so we all need to come together and demand that all of our rights not just some of our rights are given to us. Okay, well, thank you so much, and let's go party, I guess. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Les. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.